Now, something I want to share for you, especially if you don't have your own boat or if you just can't swing a party boat ride at this time, uh, I've been f I've been fishing the docks uh, like pretty much every evening, depending on the weather and the wind. But some of the docks in my local area, I live in Isla, but I really don't think it matters. I think it's more the technique. And I've been doing very well. Uh, I've been averaging like three fluke, including quite a few keepers um, over the past few weeks. Um, and the docks are no secret. I mean, a lot of guys now figured out, you know, there's good bass fishing on the docks. You get bluefish coming into the docks along the mainland of the South Shore. Uh, but the fluke fishing's really surprised me. Um, it's really... <laughs> Uh, time I'm doing much better than some of the guys going out in the boats. So uh, very short time frame, like say an hour pretty much most evenings. Uh, Sunday night, for example, that, that was the best evening I've had, but in an hour I had five keepers. Uh, I'm sorry, five total. I landed two with keepers, 19 and 20 inches, which I did throw back. I also dropped the fish between four and five pounds trying to lift them up on the dock because the net was in my truck, which was in the shop. Um, so just to show you the potential, but uh, the whole key to this fishing, and I think it's probably been available to us for a long time, just nobody's really capitalized on it. And as I said, I think it's the potential is there for a lot of other docks all along the South Shore. Um, first of all, what I've discovered is the one fish I did fillet last week, stuffed with shrimp, grass shrimp. Now, every one of these fish I've caught have been right next to the dock up along the bulkhead. I'm not casting. Sometimes I'll cast parallel to the dock, parallel to the bulkhead, but basically I'm stripping out eight feet of line, dropping it straight down, just jigging it up and down, walking slowly along the dock, cover some space. And, uh, you know, some nights, you know, like Sunday night, I caught five, but uh, probably had, you know, another eight, maybe 10, 10 hits. So again, it's really surprised me that quality of the fishing, but uh, if you want to give it a try, all you need is a light spinning rod, you know, I'm using a little six foot rod with a 10 pound test braid, a half ounce jig head, and uh, I think one of, the, one of the main keys to it has been these fish bites. Uh, we gave them out at the boat shows and sports shows over the winter as a premium for subscribers. Uh, I started using them last August. They sent me some samples, and that's when I started catching these fluke and weak fish in good numbers on the docks. And it's just really made a made a world of difference. Unfortunately, uh, fish bites are tough to find. I've got a lot of people asking me and looking for them. Uh, it's not they're not around in very many shops. If you can't get hold of them, you can buy them direct. But just go to fishbites.com and. Uh, the ones you want, or the ones I've been using, I shouldn't say the ones you want because there's probably other styles that work just as good, but you don't change, you know, when you got something hot going, you don't switch. I've been using the five inch Dirty Boxers, which is a curly tail grub, and I've been using primarily the pink color. Um, so, I said if you want to give it a try, stay right next to the bulkheads. Those fish are feeding on the shrimp up against the bulkhead. The fish I filleted was stuffed with them. and. Uh, Give it a shot. I think you know, you're going to be surprised.